Michelle, I'm a physical therapist. Before we proceed, please look at my disclaimer. In today's app workout, you're going to be needing a, a Swiss ball or exercise ball for four exercises. And then two exercises, we're going to do it without the ball. So the first exercise, you're going to lay down on your back and you're going to hold the ball with your feet. So don't let the ball run away while you're laying down. So once you get settled down, hold the ball between your feet and get a good grip. So what are you going to be doing? You're going to pass, start the ball from the down, come up, hold the ball in your hand, and go back down. This is called a V up. Give the ball and come back down. We're going to do this for 20 times all together. All right, you get the idea. Let's get started. One, Two, every time you pass the ball, you count. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. In the next exercise, I want you to lay down on your back and you're going to have the feet right on the ball and get yourself settled down, hold the mat with your hands and then you're going to dig the heels down on the ball while you bridge and lift up high and you slowly roll back down and we're going to be doing this 20 times. Two. Sometimes the ball wants to sway side to side, so really work on your core and hold, try to keep the ball right in a straight line while you go up and down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. It is important to finish the 20 reps. Sometime after doing 10, 12 reps, you're really fatigued and tired. It's okay to take a little break and get back right into it and try to finish your 20 reps, no matter how many rest breaks you have to take. And that's how your muscles get stronger. In the next exercise, you're going to be hugging a ball between your knees and your elbows. I'll show you how. So you lay down on your back. Bring your legs in a tabletop position. Hug the ball between your hands, not the elbow, I'm sorry, the hands and the elbows and the knees. And then you're going to be doing like an opposite leg and arm. So left leg and right arm. Come back in and the opposite direction. Make sure you squeeze the ball. Squeezing the ball engages your core muscles. 
And we're gonna be doing 10 times on the right and 10 times on the left. Inhale, coming back in. Exhale, every time your arm and leg lift the, lift the ball. So that's how you're gonna coordinate your breathing. So let's get ready. Feet up, squeeze the ball. Take a deep breath in, inhale, squeeze, exhale, and lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And come out and we're done. In the next exercise, you're going to be doing, make sure you do this next to the sofa or something where you have a soft padding. You don't get, usually this exercise is pretty harmless. People usually get scared, but it's usually not that to worry about. So have a ball closer to the wall or a sofa or something. And then I want you to come back down on your hands and your feet are going to go up on the ball. Hands are shoulder distance apart and slowly get the feet on the ball. Once you get your stability, adjust the hands, inhale, core tight, and you're gonna bend your knees to your chest. And we're gonna be doing this 20 times. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20 and slowly come out of the position and you are finished with this exercise in the next exercise we're going to be doing a half a boat and a full boat and each one going to be holding it for 30 seconds so let me show you what that is first and then we'll set we'll start the timer and we'll hold the each position so for a full boat, you're gonna be seating tall, your knees are hip distance apart, and your hands gonna be out to the side first. You lean back in your hands, your feet gonna be up, and then you're gonna bring your hands out to the side, and you're gonna hold this position for 30 seconds. If you have a flexibility and strength, you can straighten out your knees as best as you can. So when you're ready, we're gonna go for a full boat for 30 seconds. Here we go. Lean back, up, and hold, and breathe. And done. Let me show you, for some people who struggle a lot, you can hold the back of the knee. If you're really struggling with the balance, you can just hold the back of the knee and then maintain the position. You can work on straightening the leg. That's some modifications you can do if you struggle with the full board position, okay? Now let me show you what is a half board position. So you lay down on your back. And your shoulder blades are up, your knees together, feet together, bring them down, and you're gonna bring your hands out to the side. And you're gonna be holding this position for 30 seconds. So let me start the timer. And here we go. And breathe. So 
toes pointing down, palm facing up, chin tuck, and just enjoy the breathing. And down. And that finishes your half a board position. If you struggle here, you cannot hold this position for some reason, it's okay to have either a feet down or the head down. So you can keep your feet down and just come up here, or you can keep your head down and just come up here. And slowly start adding the other body part. All right, I hope this helps. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe my channel. Please comment below and let me know if you struggle with any aches or pains and would like me to make a video.